Well, tonight, an investigation's underway after two incidents of hate on the campus of Tufts University. According to a letter from Tufts, a swastika was painted on a shed at an athletic field, and someone yelled anti-Asian rhetoric at a group of Asian students. The university president says that the act violates everything the school stands for. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke with two students who were targeted. A car, like, drove up slowly next to us and then started yelling some racialized things and told us to take our COVID back to China. These two university seniors say they are deeply disturbed by the hateful comments shouted at them while on campus last week. It was definitely scary. They say they just got done graduating and were walking down Professor's Row when a man in a black truck pulled up alongside them and shouted. It just makes our hearts hurt more for the communities that it's hit really hard. I'm not surprised that I had to experience racism. That's nothing new, especially in light of like recent events in this country. It's more disappointing and frightening that it happened on campus. University officials say this was not the only incident. Last week, someone painted a large swastika on the Bellow Field shed. Police are looking at both of these incidences as hate crimes. There are a lot of groups that are feeling marginalized uh, and, and, and targeted. Everyone from the top down Number one needs to take a stand against it and needs to ensure that their, uh, you know, their, their North Star is pointing towards justice, equity, and inclusion. The university released a statement saying acts of anti-Asian hate and anti-Semitism such as these are unacceptable and violate what we stand for as a community. I acknowledge the significant harm that these incidents can have on the Asian and Jewish communities, respectively. The university is investigating these incidents right now. It's still not clear if the perpetrators were students or outsiders. Anyone with information is asked to contact university police. In Medford, I'm Paul Burton, WBC News.